Hey guys, I'm JD with The Slumber Yard, and today we are doing a full review of the NOLA Signature Hybrid Mattress. This is one of NOLA's newest hybrid offerings to their lineup. And in the past, NOLA put out a quote-unquote hybrid rendition of this bed. It was actually just an all-foam bed, so for years we were wondering when they're going to actually produce the real coil version of it, and here it is, sitting right here in the flesh. And so I actually really enjoy this bed. I like it so much that I wanted to do a hands-on review of it and kind of display my thoughts in real time. So if you enjoy this format of mattress review, click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for a lot more. But without further ado, let's get right into things. All right, so jumping right into things, I do want to note that Nola sent us this mattress for free to review, but if you end up buying it online, you're going to be backed by some generous policies that are actually kind of unique to the online space. So once you order it, it's going to ship to you for completely free inside of a box that's around like four feet tall. The unboxing process is relatively simple and easy. You just drag it inside, tear off all the packaging, and then that bed burrito will quickly expand into an entire queen size bed like the one that we have sitting right here. Just so you guys know, this is a hybrid mattress. It's quite heavy to move by yourself, so you might want a friend there to help you out with the whole unboxing. That's just the nature of the beast when you're dealing with a durable coil mattress such as this. From there, you get 120 nights to try it out at home risk-free, and you can actually waive that trial period to save a little bit of money on the mattress, which is kind of a cool feature that we rarely see within the online space. So if you know that you want this mattress and you don't need four full months to try it out, you can waive it and save a little bit of cash. That's great. If within that time, say you do offer the trial period and you want to send it back, you can do so, but you are going to be charged a small transportation fee, it's going to be deducted from your mattress refund. If you decide to keep it, the bed is backed by a lifetime warranty. That's awesome. If you need any more policy information regarding this particular mattress, hit the description box for so much more. So with the policies out of the way, I do want to just go over generally what this mattress is made up of. So if you want to come down with me, Dilo, sitting right here. On the bottom, we have a thin layer of base foam. Then right above it is the bed's main support system, which in this case are its HD Max Tri-Zone coils. They're eight inches tall, they're made of recycled steel, and they give the mattress its overall support. These coils are actually laid out in a pretty quality zone support format, and they're reinforced along the edges to provide the bed with a really sturdy perimeter. You know, in terms of online beds that have zone support, a lot of beds just feature it in a top foam or something. Here you're getting it in the foundational support unit for the mattress. Now above those coils, you have a transitional layer to kind of buffer some of that motion isolation that will reverberate from the coils. And on top of that, you have the bed's main comfort foam, which in this case is a zoned NOLA air foam. So NOLA air foam is kind of like a mix between memory foam and neutral foam. It gives you a lot of sink-in qualities with a really rapid response time. And in this case, on this particular mattress, it's kind of divided into three separate sections to help keep your back more aligned at night while you rest. On top of the mattress, you have its quilted foam top panel, which gives it some additional comfort. And rounding out the entire thing, you have this organic cotton cover that is noticeably cool to the touch. It's a lot colder than many others we've observed within the online space, but uh, more on temperature regulation later on here. In terms of what this mattress feels like, let's actually test it in real time here for you. And compared to the Signature 12, which has more of a blended foam feel, we would say the Signature Hybrid presents sleepers with more of a soft, neutral hybrid feel. The coils on the bottom do add more of a response time to the bed. And to me, it kind of feels like a Brooklyn bedding signature or something like a more neutral hybrid mattress that's just generally comfortable and accommodating. I think nine out of 10 sleepers, when you hop on this mattress, you're just gonna perceive it to be a really comfortable coil bed, right? It's not gonna be overwhelmingly memory foamy or like a latex foam bed with a lot of response time, just right in the middle in terms of its neutrality. Now, compared to the Signature 12, the all foam rendition of this bed, I would say the coils on the bottom made the Signature Hybrid a little bit firmer than that mattress. We would clock this one at a proper medium on our scale, but it does skew pretty soft for a medium option. So it'll work fine for all sleeper types right off the bat, backside, stomach, and combination, but it might be a little bit more suitable in terms of providing pressure relief for heavier side sleepers or just heavy people in general that tend to favor their side at night. When I'm on my side on this mattress, I just feel a lot of pressure relief, a lot of contour for my shoulders and hips. I definitely get a sink in quality, but the coils kind of help prop my body type a little bit up. I'm a little bit heavier, you know, hopefully you can't see a lot of that on camera, but I don't know, for a hybrid bed, it is a little bit softer, but it's gonna be able to support all body types right off the bat. Our team recently toured the 3Z facility in which this bed is processed and made. And it seems like NOLA as a brand is kind of gearing their beds towards side sleepers specifically. A lot of their mattresses, the original 10, the Signature 12, even the Evolution Hybrid is available in softer profiles. And a lot of their beds feature that NOLA air foam right on top. And that material is more pressure relieving for side sleepers in general. So I would say if you're a strict side sleeper, you're looking for a quality mattress, 
definitely consider going the route of NOLA. In terms of other NOLA options to consider, I already mentioned the Signature 12, which is the all foam version of this bed. They also have the more affordable flagship Original 10. That's also available in a hybrid rendition. Their most popular and accommodating bed is probably the Evolution 15. That's more of an enhanced pillow top bed with more of an enhanced support coil system on the bottom. I believe it even features that zone support uh, feature that this bed does. And if you're more of a green thumb and you're looking for an ethically sourced option, maybe consider the route of going the NOLA Natural. That's another pretty nice hybrid bed. It's around a medium. Speaking of green thumbs, this bed is definitely made in a more ethical fashion compared to others within the online space. I believe the entire mattress itself is Green Guard Gold certified. It has that organic cotton cover on top. Some of the materials are certified organic. And the coils on the bottom are even made of recycled steel, as I already alluded to. So by going the route of this bed, you're getting more of an eco-friendly option. Now let's talk about what couples should know about this mattress. I already alluded to its superior edge support. Those coils that run along the perimeter edges really strengthen them. And so I think if you're sleeping really close to the perimeter of this mattress, you shouldn't be falling off this mattress soon. I think you're actually gonna feel a lot of support in this regard. In terms of motion isolation, it's pretty dang good on the Signature Hybrid. You know, it probably will perform a little bit better on the all foam version of the bed since you're getting, you know, more dense motion isolating capabilities from the support foam rather than the coils, which tend to reverberate a little bit more motion. But the NOLA air foam on top of this bed kind of resembles a memory foam in terms of the pressure relief you get from it. So I think it will deaden a lot of cross mattress motion if you happen to sleep with a partner who's a light sleeper. Where the cup go? In terms of temperature regulation, I mentioned that the cover is comprised of organic cotton and it has a cool to the touch feature. I would say it does sleep a little bit cooler than your average hybrid bed found online, but we would still classify it to be a temperature neutral sleeping option. I don't think it really goes as far as moving the needle for active cooling beds or something like that. If you sleep excessively hot and you're looking for an active cooling option, we'll try to link some of our best picks for hot sleepers down below in the description box. Those should uh, you know, point you in the right direction in terms of your online mattress search. Now let's talk price. How much are you gonna be paying for the Signature Hybrid, especially after discount? I should mention that we probably will have a discount code for this mattress link down below in the description box to help save you some money on it. And this is as of when I'm recording this video, mattress pricing kind of fluctuates from time to time. As of when I'm recording this video, you can currently pick up a queen size for a little over the $1,350 mark. For the quality of hybrid mattress that you're getting here, I would say that is a great value, all things considered. I think you're getting a premium option with a lot of bells and whistles in regards to zone support for side sleeping. So I think that's well worth the price. Be sure to check down below in the description box of this video again for any sorts of current pricing and promotions that we can find for this option to help save you some money on it. But in terms of our team's final verdict, on the NOLA Signature Hybrid. I would say look into it if you want a more supportive hybrid bed for side sleepers with a neutral hybrid feel. You like the sound of that zone support feature and you also want a quality hybrid bed for the price. All things considered, I think you're getting a bang for your buck with this bed. Personally, I really enjoy it. I'm a combination sleeper who tends to favor my side at night and I really enjoyed the amount of pressure relief that this bed you know, supplied for my shoulders and hips when I was testing it out. So I would definitely consider sleeping on this bed myself. But let us know what you guys think. What do you think of this mattress? Have you tried it out? Write us down below in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, again, click the like button on it and consider subscribing to The Slumber Yard for so much more. But that is pretty much gonna sum it up for today's review. I'm JD. Hopefully you're doing well out there. Sleep right, sleep tight. We'll see you next time.